I say yo, welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk bad rap, basketball, and wrestling. Follow me on Instagram at hoops underscore raps underscore wrestling. Follow me on Twitter at hoops wrestling. The topic for today is wrestling. More importantly, CM Punk is injured and is going to miss Forbidden Door in at least three months of AEW television. You feel me? This is a big deal. I'm not going to lie. This is a big deal. I wasn't the biggest CM Punk fan because of all the slay that he made to Triple H and WWE since he left. But he's definitely one of the best in the world. I'm not going to lie. It's not just a gimmick. In ring, on the mic, whatever. CM Punk is one of the best in the world. Easily. You feel me? And then... The build-up to him getting the world title was done almost perfect. I'm not going to lie. It was almost done perfect. He went almost undefeated for mad long. And then he lost to MJF. He got his win back. He wrestled Young Guys. He wrestled Eddie Kingston's, Darby Allens. He's been putting in the work. I'm not going to lie. So when he faced Hangman Page, it was inevitable. Gangster. Hangman wasn't lighting the world, no fires, world champion anyway. It was inevitable. It was inevitable. You feel me? So... He, it seems like he got injured on Dynamite during a crowd dive, which is kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. All the long matches he had and all of that, and for him to get injured during a crowd dive, that's crazy. But he came out on Rampage, you feel me? He cut a great promo, very emotional promo. You see the tears in his eyes and all of that. Um, He said he's going to be back, you feel me? Which I expect. I expect CM Punk to be back. I, we just don't know how long he's going to be back, you feel me? And I feel like AEW is ruining it by making, instead of them having a tournament, they're doing a battle royal and then a winner faces John Mox to the same day. And then they're building as the interim world champion. So it's like, that's so stupid. What if CM Punk is out for six months? Y'all gonna be calling somebody the interim world champion for six months? That's really stupid. I'm not gonna lie, that's really, really stupid. I feel like he should have just vacated the belt. You feel me? You have a tournament. AEW is not lacking superstars right now. Moxley, Mero just came back. Keith Lee, Swerve, Danielson, Adam Cole. You feel me? It's like y'all got enough people where y'all can have a great tournament, 16-man tournament, and they could conclude at Forbidden Door. You feel me? So that's the one thing I don't like. I'm not going to lie. I don't like how they're doing that. And it's very predictable. John Moxley's going to win. We're going to get John Moxley and Tanahashi at Forbidden Door. When y'all could have just had Tanahashi versus John Moxley already and had CM Punk do something with FTR in a six-man tag or something. But you feel me? I hope CM Punk comes back. You feel me? AEW is going to be weird without him. I'm not going to lie. Right now, AEW television doesn't have MJF, no Kenny Omega, or no CM Punk. Those are the three are the biggest stars in the company, and they all are not there right now for all three different reasons. You feel me? But that's my thoughts on it. You feel me? It's crazy. He was he was he just won a title too, like ten day reign. You feel me? That's probably why they didn't want to strip him because they don't want to make him have a short title reign and then he come back and be a two time champion. I figure when he wins. It